And back home here in East Texas, coronavirus cases are still rising as well. The Morning Loop's Marangeli Lopez joins us now with the latest numbers and how Net Health is trying to prevent the virus from spreading even further. Good morning, Marangeli. Good morning, Dana. Yeah, the latest Net Health update shows an uptick in most counties here in East Texas. The CEO of Net Health is attributing the cases to community spread. Now, the latest data is from November 6, which was Friday, and it shows that there are 406 positive cases here in East Texas. That's nearly double the number of cases from the previous day on November 5th. Now, since most of the active cases are here in Smith County, Net Health officials decided to open up a new testing location that will open Monday through Friday starting today at 9 a.m. It'll be open until 4 p.m. and it's going to be at the Tyler Senior Center. The testing is free and it's available to everybody in the community. And testing officials are asking those that are getting tested to not eat, drink, or smoke anything for at least 20 minutes before your appointment. Now, that being said, you don't need to have symptoms to get tested, but you do need an appointment so you can schedule one by going to gogettested.com. Um, NetHealth CEO George Roberts is hoping we see a change in January of 2021. Hopefully the, the vaccine will be, uh, maybe start seeing some vaccine out in, uh, in, in January. That's some information we're getting right now. So we're already starting the process of you know, what's happening with the vaccine. That the vaccine is not readily available to East Texans just yet, but he and his team are working to get it here quickly. All right, now all we can do is continue washing your hands, wearing a mask, and stay home if you feel sick. Coming up at 6, we'll talk about steps that you can take ahead of the holidays to prevent yourself and your family from getting sick. We got you covered, East Texas. Back to you, Dana.